guys and welcome back to let's play the sims 3 all in one we are here with our family <coughs> oh geez all right so we're starting out here <coughs> Jeez, i got like a feeling in my throat like something's stuck in my throat but we're here with harvey and he's going ahead and grabbing the gifts because that's what we set him up to do on the last episode so i'm gonna go ahead and start at the bottom and the first one is from pizzazz girl 1015 it says please give this to any lp that you're currently playing in all right i'm gonna take it here and we just got a telescope so thank you so much we might actually need that because there is going to be somebody who's probably going to build the logic skill so that's awesome so thank you so much thanks for the telescope for Harvey in my all in one if I could spell no I can't <laughs> alright so I'm gonna go ahead and copy this alright the next one is from I Leif. it's the message from the game take it here we just got 3,500 simoleons. Thank you so much. I'm going to go ahead and send you back a gift as well. Uh, let's see. Dollar sign though. 3,500. All right. Moving on up. Who else do we have gifts from? That's actually it. All right. So we are going to just take those two gifts and move on with life. All right. So this is the first time I loaded up my game today. I actually didn't play any Sims today, which is kind of different because the last couple of days, that's pretty much all I've spent my time doing, which is kind of sad, but um, it was nice to get back into the Sims and really start to enjoy it again because it's been a little while since I've, uh, I've, I've played for my own like personal, like, see, I go through my phases with the Sims and that's why it's really hard to do a Sims channel because I get kind of like bored of the Sims every once in a while and I'm like, eh, I'm not really feeling it. So I don't really want to record and stuff. That's why I kind of wish like I could pre-record, save it on like a hard drive and then later on I would have the videos for like, you know, when I'm not really feeling it. But lately I've been really upset. I've got some stuff going on in real life. And, like, I'm getting ready for surgery on Friday. Like, it's terrifying to have to go through a third surgery. And I'm in immense amount of pain. <laughs> so my, my, like, it limits me to how much I can actually play certain games. So with The Sims, it's easy. You know what I mean? Like, it's not, it's not a very rough game on my wrist. It's very minimal movement. And I can play this pretty easily. So this is what I've been pretty much going to. I mean, I have played some other games recently. And um, I can tell you that they really do hurt. It really does. And it's kind of... It's kind of odd how that how that works, but I mean, it works as it's supposed to, you know? And uh, so, yeah, but I'm trying to like keep myself pre-recorded for the fact that I don't want to slip up and like fall behind because I do want to be able to, uh, I, I do want to be able to, you know, have videos for you guys after my surgery and such. So I'm kind of hoping like I can really, I can really uh, pop out some, quite a few LPs here in the next few days um, and keep myself a little bit busy but I don't know we'll see I've also been playing a personal game I do want to make a current household L or, uh, episode on it um, and and it kind of makes me sad because I know you guys were so happy to see the Millmans you know and it's unfortunately not the Millmans but I did want to actually get back into playing them I actually thought about it maybe tonight after I record this and then I looked at the clock and I was like Oh my god, it's four in the morning. Like, what am I thinking? <laughs> what am I thinking? But, I don't know. We'll see. We'll wait and see what happens. Anyways, so, back into the game talk. <laughs> I always start out with a really random story or something really random to talk about. It's kind of funny. It's like my tradition now. Um, anyways, <clears throat> so we've got Harvey here. He's got some weird, funky, like, looking glitch thing. Oh, it's his shadow. Why does his shadow look so funky? That looks weird. Um... Anyways, so he's taking care of his garden real quick. I did want him to spend some time with uh, with Jared, but I think Jared said call back in three hours. I honestly can't remember now. I, I seriously can't. 
Um, Tori is actually getting her second nap because she is still pretty exhausted from the night that they had last night. Um, Harmony is about to be going into her second nap. And then once they get that done, I think I'm going to send them off to watch a movie together. And I'm kind of hoping that uh, Harmony is actually going to stay in this movie because last time she didn't. So it kind of made me upset. Um, we could go work out at the at the gym, but I am going to try and ask out um, Jared one more time when we're done with the garden. Because if he'll go to the gym with us, then I'll go to the gym. Then maybe we could eat some dinner and then maybe we could go, you know, to the bar or something and kind of chill. So that's kind of what I was thinking, but I don't know. We'll have to wait and see <clears throat> what he's up to. I think he's actually working. I kind of wish like there was a mod that you could get that would display that information. Um, I guess it's just something that I should learn. I should learn the uh, the different jobs and like what times they are. But I really don't play that much Sims to be able to learn all of that in like a decent amount of time. So unfortunately, we just got to kind of live with it. But um, yeah, so <clears throat> I was looking at some of the information that I've written down for this LP. And so we've got Harmony, or Harmony, Harvey in the criminal career. We've got um, Harmony in the politics career and then we have Tori in the business career which covers three of the one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven jobs so if they each had a couple of children you know or adopted or whatever um, then we would have um, enough to get through that and there's how many skills there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven perfect so everybody takes one job one skill and we move on pretty excited about that um i don't know i don't know how many kids they're gonna have if any you know what i'm saying like i i can't predict i can't predict the future of this lp because it is very spontaneous you know and uh so we'll just have to wait and uh, see what happens. All right. She is still sleeping. It's kind of funny because we're like, what, almost 10 episodes in and we're still living in the first house that we lived in. And you know what? I'm okay with it because I don't really mind having a small house. It's just the three of them. It's not like we have a lot that we like. We don't need a lot of space. There isn't. <clears throat> there isn't a need. If we were about to have a baby or something, I would definitely probably think about a new house just because this house isn't really, you know, family friendly. But I think for right now it works. I don't I don't see any reason against it. He does need to learn the martial arts skill and I think, if I'm not mistaken, he can learn it at the at the um gym. I'm pretty sure that there's some um, stuff in there to learn martial arts. So I think I might have um have him do that <clears throat> all right he's gonna need to leave for work soon oh okay never mind don't invite him out then um let's have you prepare a meal let's have you serve up some autumn salad because you want to prepare a meal and this is a good way for you to do so and then I'll have you probably go to work afterwards. And what do you need to do? You need athletics. But I'm just going to let you kind of just do business as usual. So I guess it's just another night with the girls. Because we don't really have much going on. But um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take them out for... Um, am I going to take them out? I'm going to take them out to the movies. I think that they really deserve a good movie. So let's attend the movie. And let's do um, I'm Dying Let's Dance with Harmony. Okay, let's just have the girls go to the movies, have a great time. Hopefully it works out because they both want to watch a movie. So it's good for them to get out and have a good time um, and, you know, do all that good stuff. Harmony's got a thing that says, I am beautiful. Girl, yes, you are. Work it, twerk it, because you are fantabulous. All right. A greeting card. I think this is him and Jared, so I kind of want to save it because it's the first uh, first time that they went out and, like, you know, spent time together. Really? Okay, well, guess not. <laughs> oh, there we go. Um, He wants to improve his cooking. What else does he want to do? 
fertilize plants, improve his gardening skill. He's going to be doing the gardening skill, so I'm going to give him that instead. Yeah, it's him and Jared, so I think I'm going to think I'm going to keep it cuz I really 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 want him to probably be with Jared. So, it'd be nice if they actually like, you know, had a photo to remember before they were dating. All right. So you two are in here. Which is fine. She's got the wish to watch a movie. She has the wish to watch a movie. They both want to go um, have a drink. So I think we'll quickly do that. We're not going to stay out as late as we did last night. Because I don't really want them to get on that schedule. And they are exhausted as it is. But um, we have about three more hours to kind of go out and do some things. He's already at work. So that's doing well. Um, we don't have to worry about much there. And yeah. So I'm just going to fast forward a little bit while they're in here. They're about halfway through the movie. I just want to be able to lock some new things in because I'm kind of like bored of doing the same old things. She wants to visit the neighborhood pool. And actually, you know what? That would be kind of nice. We haven't really went swimming yet and we don't have a pool. So it might be nice to maybe do that. To uh... Oh, I should have looked at that. That was Jared's promotion. It would have told me what time he was working. Shoot. All right. There we go. So did it work for both of you? And it did. You both want to have a great date. All right. So now that you guys are out of there and you guys need to have a drink at a different bar, the only other bar that I can think of is the one up here. So let's visit this lot with our date, Tori, and uh, we'll go get a drink with our girl. And I think we're going to get some food while we're there as well. We'll probably eat and then drink. I mean, it's only 11, so we have about a good hour before, you know, before we really need to start thinking about heading home. So it's plenty of time to get some food, get a drink, and, uh, and, and head home. Maybe we'll just go up here to have like a good conversation. I think Harmony is kind of starting to, um, to realize that maybe she moved a little quickly with, uh, the proposal. Um, and, and I don't, I don't, I don't want to say that she doesn't care for Tori because I think that she does, but I just think like, she's kind of like, oh my God, like this is my first like official girlfriend since moving out of the house, you know, and, and it's been fun, you know, but now what if I, what if I don't want to be with her forever? You know what I mean? And now I've proposed this girl, I've got her hopes and dreams up that we're going to be together forever. And then what happens if like we're not, you know what I'm saying? So I think she's kind of freaking out just a little bit because I think that she has all the right to freak out a little bit for the fact that technically they were like only dating for like, like a couple days <laughs> for, for some time as a couple weeks, you know, but I'm just saying like, so I think she's really, really, really getting kind of like nervous about the whole proposal and, and she can see that Tori, you know, Tori is so ready to be married. You know what I'm saying? And Harmony's not saying she doesn't love Tori and that she doesn't want to spend, you know, the rest of her life with her. I just think that she's kind of getting really scared about the whole, wedding and you know she does have the wish and she wants to marry Tori but she's not sure that she's ready to settle down you know what I'm saying so um I feel like I feel like she's kind of like freaking out a little bit and 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 she's not doing it on purpose or she's not doing it to hurt Tori or because she doesn't love Tori she's doing it because she is just genuinely kind of terrified about the wedding it might be what they call like cold feet you know what I'm saying before like a wedding you get cold feet or whatever but I don't know what is going on that was weird um it's just I think it's just like I think it's just normal for people to be a little bit you know not standoffish but like a little bit like second guess like second guess their relationship a little bit when you're going into something that's such long term you know and so I think that, you know, she's kind of second guessing it and it's, and it's kind of scaring her to the point where she's pulling away a little bit. And I kind of feel like Tori can see that, like, like Tori will send her a text message and, and Harmony doesn't respond for hours. You know what I mean? And, and it's kind of scaring Tori at the same time that like, oh my God, what if she, she's like, you know, 
not wanting to be with me anymore. But Harmony tries to still show that she does care. You know, she still wants her to know, like, she still really, really cares for her. And that she means the world to her. But it's very hard for Harmony. Especially because Harmony's never been loved the way that Tori loves her. Um, you have to imagine, like, being in a relation... Or being... Like, living life and, and knowing your parents are out there. But, like... But, like, they don't care. What's up with this horse? What's up with the markings on it? But, like, your parents don't want to be part of your life. You know what I mean? So, it's kind of, I think it's kind of just freaking her out a little bit more than anything. And and I think um, Harmony would be fine if she had someone she could talk to about it. You know? Just, like, express her concerns. But she knows she can't talk to Tori about it because that'll freak Tori out. And, and what happens if, you know, you know, she's talking about it and it comes off like she doesn't love Tori or whatever so I think what we're going to try and do is get Harmony a friend we're going to try and make her a friend to be able to to talk with about the situation you know and and to be able to have that person to comfort her when she's really upset about things um and uh and just to genuinely, you know, listen to her concerns about the relationship and to give her advice of what they think, you know? So I think that's what we're going to work on. I think we're going to get Harmony a best friend. And, and yeah, her brother should probably be the person who she goes to and talks with. But again, you know, it's, it's not really, it's not the fact that her brother isn't like her best friend because they are. They're really great friends and they always have been and probably always will be. I just think it. She doesn't want to put him in an awkward place because she knows that he. She knows that he's living in the house and Tori's living here too, and he. And she doesn't want it to be weird for him. So she finds that it would be easier if she talked to someone outside of the house who could give their two cents, you know, without without being too close into the situation as well. So I think that's why we're gonna we're gonna work on a good friend for Harmony. Try and get her a good friend and um, get her someone she can talk to about about this and her fears <coughs> excuse me but yeah so that's my thoughts I think that um when she talks to someone she'll feel much better about it you know and she'll feel <coughs> more inclined and, I mean, you can see, Tori's dreaming about marriage and money. And she's over here dreaming about, like, jobs. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's trying not to focus on the marriage as much. So, uh, I think it would be I think it'd be good, uh, beneficial for her to have a best friend anyways. And I'm going to be honest with you. Normally, my Sims don't really have a social life. So, it's been kind of nice to have a social life with these guys. And Harvey, he is just smitten with... um with uh what's his face jared right now that he just can't get him off his mind literally just wants to be you know with him whenever he can and um since he has today off i think we might um i think we might try to um ask jared out with us to maybe go out <clears throat> and play some pool or something or go to the pool or something you know go to the beach or whatever she wants to learn the cooking skill. I don't want to watch any wild horses. Um, you can learn the cooking skill. I'm not watching any wild horses, so you can figure something else out for that. Plus, I also want to kind of get him with Jared before Jared gets too far into that relationship because he is already in a relationship with Jamie, and I feel bad breaking it up, but, like, we call dibs on him first. So, MC Command Center, or MC, or Enros, whatever, <laughs> Enros Story Progression, can take it and shove it because we caught him first anyways we're gonna get some sleep though at a normal not really normal it's like five in the morning but at the normal time for him because obviously he works at night <clears throat> and uh we're gonna hopefully hopefully fingers crossed uh get up and jared is going to be able to go out with us i really wish i had looked at the thing that came up because then i would know when he works but stupid me i just exit out so you know. What is he even at? He is a ingredient taster. Okay. So, I don't think that's very high in the uh, culinary career. But, 
that would help with us as well because he's in the culinary career and that's one of the careers we need to do and cooking is one of the skills so I think that's pretty cool that you know his his career is already pretty much perfect so I'm pretty excited about that are you guys serious oh my gosh you did not get a full night's sleep um, take a shower why are these guys food going bad so quickly kind of curious And she works today, too. She has Saturday and Sunday off. What day do you have off? Saturday and Sunday. Okay, so that works pretty perfect. Though, they seem to go out every day, so I don't think it really matters. Yeah, she's going to leave for work soon. She does need to work with her boss. And why has this not gone up at all? Oh, she's already got a promotion. That's why. I got you, girl. Um, so I think the skill that I'm going to have her build is going to be writing. Maybe. No, we'll probably do writing for journalism. <clears throat> for military, I don't know. Um, let's see. For sports, we'll do, well, we're doing athletics for criminal, but for sports, we could do like, I don't know collecting or something. I don't know. Um, I don't know. What skill do you guys want to see Tori build? So I'm going to try and figure it out because I want it to be perfect. But yeah, we're just trying to build the skills for their jobs. So like hers is charisma which she is already at a level five. So she's more than halfway there. And we've done it legitimately. You know what I mean? Like we didn't cheat in any sen any sort of way to get to that point. Um, I am going to have her practice her speech a little bit though before she goes to work. <clears throat> um, so hers is legitimately built. I could have done it with story progression. Or story progression. I could have done it with... Um, social networking but I didn't for the fact that, that came later with university so I don't really want to um, to focus on that skill um, and that's why I didn't do it that way um, he's working on his athletics and he is at a level five as well about to be a six he is so freaking close we might actually go work out today because that will boost up his um, athletic here and we need to boost it just a little bit just a little bit um, but yeah, so she's doing pretty well on her, af her her charisma. I'm pretty proud of her, actually. So, that's good. Um, I'm going to let her stop doing this at 8.30ish and then head to work. Now, you guys are probably wondering why we don't get a carpool. And it's because we actually have a car. Once our, my Sims actually have a car that's preferred for them, I think, they don't get a carpool anymore. It's one of the mods. Um, because, obviously, you wouldn't really get a carpool if you had a car. You know what I'm saying? Like, that doesn't really make sense. So, that's why they don't really get them anymore. Um, I would like her to work hard for a little bit, at least. Just to get this, you know, to the top, if she can. She auto power works um, because she is a workaholic. Um, so they don't actually get upset about it. And she's only got about two weeks left before she ages. We, we've got about closer to three than two. All right. And then Harvey is getting close to the end of his sleep as well. And I'm going to let him, let's clean this and we'll take a shower. Actually, before we take a shower, let's have you tend to your garden. Because that is going to make you filthy, filthy, filthy. And then we'll let you, uh, we'll let you shower. That way you're clean, ready to go. And then I think I'm going to have you invite out... Uh, Jared. I'm going to see if he'll go out with us to the gym to work out a little bit. If not, then so be it. But I'm really kind of hoping that he will take us up on it. Just because I'm kind of, you know, at the point where I think it'd be best if they spent a little time together. It's been a couple of days and he definitely misses him and wants to see him. So I think it'd be good. Um... 
Okay, it was amazing that the cops were not called out due to that ruckus, commented a guest after leaving the Leighton Sakamoto's engagement party. I mean, we brought that house down, baby. Woo! What a send-off. Here's to you, Leighton Sakamoto and Bessie Clavel. Happy nuptials and sorry about the lamp. What the heck? <laughs> These things, I tell you. Play hopscotch with Winston. Who the heck is Winston? I have no idea. All right. <clears throat> I mean, we don't have to make athletics his 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 skill. It could be gardening, since he does seem so into it. But I think science is one of these, and science would go well with gardening. And I think science might even go well with fishing. So I don't know. I don't really know what to do. I might sit down and try and plan it out, and then we'll go from there. Just trying to kind of show like the basics of what came out with these, each expansion. And if I don't show like the skills, then like there's no point in it. Plus, it gives us something to work on when we're in like the in-betweens of the storylines. Which obviously, mainly our storyline right now is with Tori and uh, Harmony, you know, with their relationship. And, you know, how scary it is for Harmony because she's never been in that kind of a situation. Want to play Hopscotch with Blair? Sure. Um... But at the same time, I don't want to. I don't want to shadow Harvey and his in his light, because he does have his side of the story as well. So I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. All right. So she is about out of work. I am gonna have her come home and take a couple naps. I hate having them nap when they get home because of the fact that, like, I feel like it wastes my time because I feel like I could have done something so much more useful with that time. But, I mean, it is what it is. If she's tired, she's tired. There's nothing I can do. So I'm going to have her take a couple naps as well. And then I think I might actually have her invite Blair out. And uh, we'll see how that goes. All right, and you want to go to five hot spots, which I don't even know where the hot spots are. Wait, does do they? Oh, they both have the wish to marry each other. Okay. I was like, wait, was I wrong? Does Harmony not have the wish to marry her? But she does. I forgot that Tori got it as well. Destroy the shredded documents in your inventory with time limit in order to. Okay, we can do that. Um, how do we destroy them? I don't know. Um, 210 simoleons. Jamie, Jelena, and Jared Frio have broken up. Oh, man. Now is the time. <laughs> oh, we got a party invitation. Yeah, we'll say we'll go. We might go to it. We might send one of the girls over. Find some seeds. Play hopscotch with him. Which one's worth more? 250, 150. Okay, we'll do this one. All right, shower and then invite him out. We might even go out just to eat, maybe just to like lunch or something. I mean, he did just break up with his girlfriend, so I think it's totally meant to be, guys. <laughs> Xander Clavel doesn't just doesn't know when to let go. After getting dumped by Agnes Crumplebottom, he has been loitering around her home at all hours. Can anyone say creepy? Well, I'm glad I didn't get into a relationship with him then. <laughs> Um, okay. We'll invite him out to the diner. We just don't seem to connect anymore. Susan is just so busy doing other stuff, there's simply no time for us to talk, muttered Boyd Wainwright to a close friend. Poor Susan Wainwright needs to get back on the ball and soon. <gasps> He's gonna meet us there! Silver Racket and Dennis Racket have been seeing each other's throats lately. Oh, that's not good. <gasps> Harmony got a, a promotion to city council member! Woo hoo! She got a bonus of 540 simoleons. Politician at last. As the newest city council member, you have the unique position of affecting change on the welfare of the city. Change takes time, though, and re-elections cost money. You'll need to start working your neighbors, acquaintances, and random individuals to their campaign donations. Bring your walking shoes, councilwoman. She now makes 69 an hour and works from 9 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. So she actually gets out earlier. Please tell me he's not. Um, yeah, we'll do that. 
Okay, where is he? No, wait, 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 wait. We're waiting for Jared. He's taking his sweet time on getting here. Is this a tourist? From China? Yeah, it is. There he is. Hi! No. No! Please listen. <laughs> Alright, so I think we're just going to go for it and we're going to be romantic and try and, you know, really push it a little bit. <laughs> oh my gosh. Take a break. Thank you. Okay, <clears throat> we're going to be romantic and compliment his personality. And then let's try and flirt. We'll do a flirtatious joke. And then let's see if we can go in for an amorous hug. I wonder when he works. Please go for it. Yes! Yes! It's working in my favor. It's working in my favor. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yes! Oh my gosh. This is so perfect. This is so perfect. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh, I just want them to kiss. Have your first kiss. Please, this is going to be perfect. Oh my gosh. <gasps> ah! Yes! Okay. <laughs> Eat at a restaurant. We'll do that one. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Embrace him. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. We're gonna dip kiss. Um, hold hands. And then make out. Oh my gosh, this is working so perfectly. Stroke his cheek. Whisper in his ear and then we're gonna propose going steady. Can we ask him to go steady with us, please? We're being extremely irresistible. Where's Propose going steady? No, why? Oh my gosh, why? Kiss him goodbye, ask him to leave date. No, I want to ask him to go steady with us. Ask him to break up with Jamie. He's already broke up with her. Oh my gosh. He doesn't even have a partner. Okay. Then we're going to have to be like nice and like, you know, flirt with him again. Because it does give them a negative thing to do this. Like it brings them backwards. All right. Hold hands. Um... Kiss him. Take a break. Jesus, Louises. No, no, no. Okay, okay. Who? Okay. I thought he was leaving, and I was gonna cry. It was literally gonna cry. All right, Amaris, hug him. Do a flirtatious joke. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, she said things are over between him and Tor and um, Jamie. Hold his hands. I don't want him to leave me. Um, dip kiss him. There's so many people here. Compliment his personality. And then I want you to propose going steady. Yes! Yes! Take a freaking break! No! No, 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 no! Please don't leave, please don't leave, please don't leave, please don't leave. Oh no, please. No, why? 
It was going so well! It was going so well! Right, Jib kiss him. Okay, now propose going steady. Please, this can work. Please, please let this work. I'm so focused on these two right now. And I've just pretty much forgotten about the girls. <laughs> it's alright. They they shine a lot of the time. <gasps> Please say yes. Please say yes. <gasps> he said yes! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, what's going on? <coughs> Hello? Um, here? What am I choosing a lot for? <laughs> I have no freaking clue. No freaking clue. Okay. Well, we're going to go eat here with our date. I mean, I want to lock in like... I want to lock this in. Sure, that sounds like fun. Let's meet there. Hello? <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. They're together! They're going to be so cute. I can't wait. It's going to be so adorable. Oh, life goals. Life freaking goals. What is she doing? Why is she going to that lot? Oh, wait. She's take going out with Blair. They were supposed to play hopscotch. Well, they can't play hopscotch there. Shoot. I didn't even think about that. Oh, wow. Okay. So Pauline Juan and Bill Racket are like like close and Zelda May and like Marty Keaton are over here like trying to hit it up but it's not working it says what is up with Agnes Crumplebottom muttered Xander Clavel I just want us to be happy together is that all I mean she is all I think about why can't she see me for who I a really am a loving and compassionate sim who just happens to be camping outside her house buddy take advice let it go. <laughs> Let it go. Guys, Jared is going to be moving in at some point. Are you guys excited? I'm excited. I'm excited for this relationship. Like, life goals. Please be with me on this one. He's already started a group. Join the group or disbanded to form a different group. Sure, okay. Um, can you please get rid of this so I can lock this in? Yes. Yes. Oh, he wants to make out with him too. Oh no. He wants to also go on a date with him. Find some seeds. Let's see if we can find some seeds like right here so we can get over this over with. Boyd is so creepy looking in my opinion. Like maybe it's just my opinion, but I just feel like he is really freaking creepy looking. Like stalkerish creepy. Look at all these romantic relationships. This is what I love about story progression is you just see like everybody and their brother like getting with people and it's it's really cool to see the diversity like you can kind of see these girls are getting very very close and then you've got like this couple here who obviously wouldn't originally be together you know but they're together and it's just it's freaking adorable I love it I really do I love that these things happen and like these people get together all right so she wants to play hopscotch but like where am I gonna play hopscotch like where like I don't know of any place that has hopscotch. I'm trying to think of one. There is the party here. Is Tori actually over here? No. I think she's at the house, isn't she? Wait, where is Tori? Where is... Oh, she is here. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. It's a um, swim swimsuit party. Okay. I, I guess we could get with this. Who was her ex-boyfriend? Leighton? Well, he's, like, engaged to Bessie Clavel, so even if she wanted to get back with him, I'm pretty sure he's happy without her. Pretty sure he doesn't even recognize that she's not around. <clears throat> um, okay, I don't really know what the girls are going to do. I'm not really going to mess with it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to focus on Harvey and his date for, like, a little bit more, and then I'm probably going to end it because we're, like, way over time. Um, okay, he wants to woohoo with Jared, and I'm trying to think... Where would be a great place that we could go to that they could actually woohoo? He is so mean. He really is. He's like flat out mean. 
Um, okay, let's think. Where could we have them go to, like, woohoo? Um, ooh, we could go to the gym, actually. Let's go there. There's showers, and we can do it in the showers. We could woohoo in the showers. Alright, come on. This is gonna work for us. Oh, Nick and Vita Alto are getting into heated arguments now. It's, that's not good. I think it's this one, if I'm not mistaken. Is Jared here? Where's Jared? Oh, here he is. Okay. We are going to woohoo with Jared. I know it's fast, but, um, you know, they've known each other for a little while. Sim years, or sim time, it's been a couple years. I really hope that's the right side. Because if it's not, I'm kind of upset. I'm not going to lie to you. It's okay. She's making friends. That's awesome. I think I am going to tell her to head home, though. And I think I'm going to tell her to head home. Just because they have work in the morning. And I and I want them to, you know, <clears throat> be able to uh, get good night's rest. Yes, it is the right one. So I did pick the right one. I'm happy about that now. Alright, come on, buddy. Check and mate. No hard feelings, announced Jebediah Wilson upon defeating Lolly Racket in a ranked chess match. Oh. Okay. Um. You want to make out with Jared? Uh, Bew. I don't know if you want to be in here for this, buddy. I'm getting a bit sleepy. I should head home. Well, let's finish this first. Winky face. Once we get that out of the way, then he wants to see a concert go on a first date with someone he just did so see a concert is probably the only thing I'm probably gonna do there we go no do not work on that yes go to sleep perfect all right I'm gonna have you head home then because um that works for me. We literally broke the shower. It must have been real rough. Hey! I said don't work on that. That's not your thing. So stop. Please. And go to sleep. Alright. I think I'm going to let him come on home. And I think we're actually going to work on this. We're actually going to work on the... <clears throat> we're going to work on the body the car body for a little bit before we go to bed just because he works at this time right normally you know what I mean so it's normal for him to be up at this time so we'd like to kind of keep him on that schedule but yeah I think I'm gonna let him go home he's got this stride of pride for a little while so I'm gonna speed him up um and let him go home but uh oh you're not friends with your sister hold up oh they're distant friends because they haven't talked in a while Okay. We'll have to work on it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have him work on the car, but I'm probably going to end it there because I'm like over by 15 minutes now. So, and and I'm, I'm going to come back when he's still working on it. I promise. I'm just going to end it when he starts working on it. But I think we had a f great first date. Everything seems to be, you know, working out for these guys right now. And I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. I'm excited that like things seem to be going pretty darn well like in the in the way of romance you know they seem to be doing pretty well for money we've got about 20,000 saved up now we each have our own car um you know I just feel like a lot is definitely play going into play I'm sure that some things are going to happen you know some negative things at some point somebody's gonna something's gonna happen that's gonna be negative but um yeah I think it's gonna be great but if you guys enjoyed this please don't forget to comment like and subscribe to my channel in the description below there is a donation link if you'd like to donate to the channel along with all of my social media links where I would appreciate if you followed me on them because then some of them I like post that you know certain things are going live or like I'm going live on Twitch or whatever and uh, I talk to you guys sometimes on Twitter but I don't really get a lot of responses but um, if you guys want to join me there that would be awesome but if not then I understand 
Um, but anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed it, like I said, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it so that I know that you're still enjoying this LP. And I will talk to you guys in my very next one. Thanks very much for watching.